fucking fuck. Well, hello everybody. Hey, what's up you? You are black. Today I'm gonna be talking about more implements. Well, some implements, not all. This is too much work. So let's start with on the first implement. So why they're important. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. High idea standard for high ranking players. So anyway, so these are the basics. Actually I don't think I don't really need to talk about them, so uh, burst attacks, there we go. So, perform a number of burst attacks. So, basically, you use any weapon and just burst attack. That's pretty easy. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. For sword skills, basically, you could use Onslaught. So, basically, you could just spam Onslaught and instead of using sword skills, and that's a little shortcut. I would say use it from the uh, pallet bar or uh, this pallet so it's better and you can space spam it a lot faster next oops that's not it exact a lot attacks it exact attacks basically when you um basically uh, burst attack but instead you're gonna you're gonna wait for a, a little green flash pop on you then you're gonna press your burst attack again and you're gonna basically do exact attacks and basically it does more damage uh, same thing uh, just kill name name monsters or boss okay all right Every, this is the one require requirement for everybody or for every SAO players original sword skill system isn't that right fab well anyways so original sword skills again for the first one onslaught Spam it from the pallet tree. Next will be um, test source skills on level 100 or higher. Okay, so that's the same thing. You could, I believe you could use onslaught. If not, there's uh, you could do the OSS chain or not chain or the OS. Actually, no, never mind. You can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to use the onslaught, or if not. Again, use your uh, sword skills 800 times, but you could do onslaught, so yeah. Alright, damage modifier. That's when you could do your two step OSS, and that would make it pretty awesome. <laughs> Next, multiple chaining skills, or sword skill chaining with OSS. And Very that means oh, super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so basically, it's, a, oh, it's an overpowered, super sexy skill. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that. So basically, it lives up to the restric re yeah, restrictions. So you could do, so except two, you could do up to 12. And this, you have to do a three chain, four chain, and five chain. It reduces your cooldowns okay next this one could be a pain in the butt sometimes but that's okay <laughs> exact step away from set of monsters basically just back step you could do that on bees okay same thing crit so basically just uh, attack from behind, use your crit buff or whatever. Same thing. Onslaught. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, that's sidestep. So, sidestep. Uh, backstep. And, um, for, st for stunning enemies, there's two abilities that you could use. Uh, 
so there's two and so I could use your weapon bash your um, exact onslaught as well as two stuns you could um, basically use I believe you could use a hammer right let me check yes you could use a hammer no the club because they um, they some of the of the special skills or sword skills has a chance to stun as you can see there's like at least six different one I believe but so it's still a pretty good thing if not sword skills I believe you could do something else too all right oops implement let's go back to implement all right so where were we dagger same thing okay so we're done with this tree risk method so basically let's defeat a set of with the one risk or less so what I did was basically just play with a friend uh, just let them uh, d uh, help you out and kill the enemies for you I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry but that's true that's what I did but it, you could do that by yourself too just auto attack something like that Okay, number two, to remove, okay, this one you want to basically use on the bees and just backstep when they use a special ability. So this can be pretty easy with roll risk, uh, just let your friend do all the work and just sit back and have fun. Defeat and then faster risk, so basically same thing. Defeat, uh, okay, that's pretty easy. Again, onslaught. Alright, sacrifice for powerful effects. Onslaught. Defeat. Damage. Onslaught. Damage. And. Defeat. So, you guess you don't really need help with that. It's pretty easy. Alright, so damage, damage. Okay, so it's complete a set number of exact onslaught. So basically, you got to use your onslaught fully charge 120 times. There's no faster way, so I can't really help you with that. Let's just do it legitly. And onslaught, spam it from the skill palette. Alright, so. Risk, uh, risk 5, so basically, if you have, um, basically you go up to enemy, let's say, uh, any enemy, basically you could use your parry move, and basically the 8 rule is, uh, increase the risk to f uh, 5, and basically kill them off, and kill it 50 times, and you should be good, could be, uh, long process and but it's worth it all right dodge enemy so basically I believe this one you just basically um, just run around uh, if you have a circle of bees and just let them uh, basically they're gonna attack you and just uh, it's like an automatic dodge I believe so basically just you don't really have to do anything Alright, Sonic Boomerang. Okay, so this up first attack. So what you want to do is gather a bunch of monsters together, say like I don't know, eight or more. You're gonna burst attack them down. So burst attack for each burst attack it's gonna count as one for each monster. So if you have eight, so that'd be eight burst attack for uh, each monster you have in front of you. So you could do like four burst attack, I believe. So that's like eight times eight. No, no, eight plus eight is sixteen. So sixteen. So that's for two hits. It depends. You could have more than that too. So it doubles how many there are in front of you. <laughs> Anyways, so defeat uh, any monsters. Griffins is the best. Alright, auto attack accuracy. 
Just auto attack. I would I would suggest use your attack speed buff. This one, use your attack or anything, anything you want. Just to overkill if you have to. Next. Before, um, okay, Griffin's uh, onslaught. So just stand there and just basically be a dummy and. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, that was kind of funny. So basically, yeah, just stand there, be a dummy, and receive 500,000 damage. <laughs> okay, just damage, <laughs> damage, and damage. That's pretty easy, actually. So, um, all right. So basically, for this one, you wanna basically just parry. Use your parry move on. And it, uh, basically, pretty much when the enemy uses a special ability, so that way your cooldown resets faster. If you if you do on auto attack, you can do that, but the cooldown is gonna be really slow. So, all right. So inflict. Sp uh, okay, so just auto attack, sp attack speed buff. Okay, just be tanky again. Re receive uh, that certain amount of damage, like dummy. On suicidal. <laughs> Anyways, so so receive number of critical hits from enemies. Hmm. Honestly, I, I think you just basically just sit there and just let the bees in when you with the griffins just attack you and they're gonna do crits. So with a chance. All right. So Ares shield. Um. I can just let your friends do all the work 30 times <laughs> for missions. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, Carnegie Alliance. You let your friend on. No. What was it? Oh. On oh, exact. Uh, no, not exactly on slap. I'm sorry. Um, what was it? Oh. Uh, it's on slot. Spawn the pallet. Just spam it. Alright. Uh, protect it first. See. Reflect. Okay, so basically just sit there and you're gonna basically uh, reflect the shield or reflect the damage automatically. So, this is pretty easy. This one, pretty easy. Don't really help with that. Press attack, same thing. Pretty easy. Alright. Alright, so this one, basically the best thing to do is just auto attack and basically you use your SP I believe, make sure it's like really low, use your SP and uh, try to uh, uh, auto attack it back because you're going to be, uh, for each auto attack I believe you gain like one SP, so pretty nice, same thing. Right, first attack. So, like earlier, I said, gather them a uh, bunch of enemies together in front of you. Then, on the first attack them down. Uh, this one, you could um, do the what's it called? Oh, uh, onslaught, spam it from the pallet, and test out a certain amount of chains. So that's going back to the original sword skill system. Really nice, by the way. So. If you do a 12 chain in a row, and you end it with the, uh, let's say, arcane skill, you could one shot a, uh, a certain uh, a boss, depends on what difficulty and boss it is, so it's really nice. Alright, Dark Flare. Um, sword skills, set number of sword skills, so I believe you could just do Onslaught again. Okay, so again, gather your enemies in front of you and burst them down. Judo. Oh yeah, Yada. Yato. Uh, damage, crazy. Uh, so basically for this one, just evade a September attack. So, let's see. Next. Recovery. Rec 
recovering HP. I also found a new sword skill. You did? It's called Ultimate Spin. It's called <laughs> Ultimate Spin, you wanna see? <laughs> well, anyway, so for, for healings, oh, I basically just block your enemy attacks for the amount of time, by the way. Alright, so, of can you just use your HP regen and your regular regen, and if you have a shield from the DLC, the uh, health cliff uh, shield, so that helps a bit too. So, and your H, uh, health potion, uh, get poisoned. Alright, where do you get poisoned? That could be really tricky. Um, you could go to basically, um, You can go do, do the griffins with the uh, those bugs, and they poison you quite a number of time, uh, quite often. So you could do that. And all right, let's do the next one. Flight darkness. So you can flight darkness from your weapons. So just have to look for the abilities. Reduce perim perim perimeter. Let's see perimeter. So the perimeter for that too. That skill would be slow down and miserable, miserable heart. And I think that's it. Actually, I think you could probably get it from the weapons too. I'm not sure, but that's the main thing. All right, where were we? Um. All right. Oh yeah. It's like we bleed damage. So the best thing to do: spears from your uh, spear weapons special ability. Okay. Um, like onslaught. Yeah, the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Receive promoter. So debuff the number of times. Uh, you could do the um, Cobalt Lord in the first area, I believe. They give you debuff? No. Actually, I'm not, I don't really remember this one. I believe you could probably get it from Externia. I'm not sure, but. Oh well, I'm sorry. Well, so next is we do Recluse Cape. We're gonna be. So. We're gonna be doing it from the Cobra Lord in the first area, so th from the skeletons that use the spear, so they inflict bleed damage. Same thing with the uh, poison. Okay, so perimeter, same thing, and inflict total damage. That's pretty easy. All right, so next one, auto invade. You basically just run around in a circle <laughs> like an idiot, <laughs> you know, around the B, and you basically be. Leveling that up uh, automatically. Alright, for this one, um, you can be using the Onslaught again. Counter. I think Counter works on the Matic. No. Might have to use a Counter buff to make it happen more. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, so. Regain we, we SP from evading a certain number of times. I think you just basically do a side step, back step, or just run around like an idiot again. <laughs> All right. So evade. The, okay. So basically, just back step from the special ability. One thousand times, really painful. But yes, that's how you do it. All right. So one thing, the last one. Buff your own attacks. How you buff your own attacks? Let's see. So pretty much all of these and a few other more. All right. So one thing you're gonna use forever is the effect booster, and one of the person right here that's right next to me needs it and could really use it too, as well. <laughs> Alright, 
itself because it increased your um, your bust effects time so I'll make it longer and the Randall you could probably do the little wings in the uh, what's it called again um, uh, flo flo floating rune areas and it's like right around there uh, restricted training gallery there's a mission called the little wing the little wing there there's a dragon and you could receive a, a certain amount of breast attack so just stand there and be there uh, target practice all right next stigma blade okay one thing you cannot have on while you're using stigma blade because you need to get a crit so you need you must not have the infinite ink on because as you can see it reduces your critical so it's going to make it a lot harder for you uh, to earn your crits and of course even blade gram you get uh, crit up anyway and true strike so it's really easy alright so that's all for today uh, episodes oh wait actually um, so let's go back to the uh, or original source skill again. So basically, every player must use the original source skill in order to basically one shot uh, Externia or different bosses again. It's really important so you can use it forever any level. So that's one thing that most pe people uh, will go for or on the implements is the origin, origin source skill system and if you can you would try to do the room for development and then try to get the uh, uh, after the effect for back step because you will gain a attack speed buff and that would really help you in your damage for other stuff that you want to kill or whatever well anyways so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe